God will deliver you from sin, sickness, and the power of Satan. God loves you today, and I want to encourage your heart and give you hope. I don't care what you've learned up to this point, and I don't care what you've, what's been bombarding your mind, your body, and your spirit. I'm telling you today that God loves you, and it is Bible-based. God cares for you. He sent his son to die even when nobody else would even die for a person that's good or, 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 or the like. He said even somebody would even dare perhaps to die for a person that was a good man but God went further than a good man God went for, further than a righteous person God demonstrated paraded his love so that you can see the kind of love and the quality of love that he has for humankind he demonstrated he demonstrated that love to you and I while we were in our sinful backslidden unresponsive state to God he loves you today he loves you make no mistake about it my friend God loves you he cares about you and he will go to it great lengths to bring you into the knowledge of truth he said you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free freedom is the goal freedom from human guilt you and I do not need to remain under the load of guilt and shame. There is a God in heaven. And who are you to be proud and say that I can't forgive myself? When I say I can't forgive myself and I won't forgive myself, that means you have held standards for your own life too high. You have not allowed for mistakes. Now, get off your high horses, humble yourself, and receive what God has prepared for you. Receive his love and his forgiveness. Come on, somebody, let's praise God. Hallelujah. 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 God loves you. God loves you. We have enough forces, enough voices that are coming to condemn you. God loves you. And he is not condemning your life. He's not condemning you. It doesn't matter how hard things are for you and how hard things have been. I want you to know that God loves you and he's not condemning your life. You may be hearing voices from the past. You may be hearing voices from the enemy. But you are not hearing the voice of Christ that's condemning you. He does not condemn. Hallelujah. That's good news, somebody. Christ paid the price. It's paid. It's paid already for us to live and walk a new life. I want to say to this, to these that are listening to me again. There's some people out there right now that you need to receive from God. And we're going to pray a prayer. And I want you to join me in this prayer. First, we're going to pray a prayer for those whose lives and hearts are not right with God. You're not walking with God. You know you're not. You, you have a religious attitude, but you're really not right. You haven't really turned your life over to God. Do it now. If you feel God speaking to your life, won't you do it now? I'm going to pray with you first of all. Shall we bow our heads? Our Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you right now for those that are listening to me who have either backslidden or have heard of God or maybe have been churched for so long and never allowed you into their hearts. This is their moment. This is their time, Holy Father. I ask now that by the power of the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, that you would receive them and liberate them from sin and guilt and Satan now. Pray with me this prayer. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Come into my life. Save me. I heard the gospel message today. And it was for me. I repent of every sin. And I ask you now, Lord, to cleanse me, make me whole, write my name in the book of life, put your spirit in me, and I will serve you 
in Jesus name give me the strength and the power to live this life in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord now I want to tell you what just happened to some of you you've just asked Jesus into your life you will never do anything greater in this life there's no no greater ambition no greater aspiration than to give your life to Jesus Christ God was made for man and man was made for God I want to commend you now I want you to write me the information on the screen write me let us know preacher pastor Heron pastor Heron I gave my life to Jesus Christ when I heard that message today thank you very much let me say this what the Bible says the angels in heaven rejoices over one sinner that repents you repented and heaven is glorified <laughs> hallelujah 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 thank you Lord thank you Lord and then finally as my wife is coming we're going to join hands and we're going to pray God said to pray for the sick and you that are sick by listen that are listening to me by way of television many of you are going to get healed because God can't lie his way is right some of you have been not only guilty arthritis inflammation sickness in your body otherwise heart problems conditions God will set you free today I just want you to place your hands on the television screen as we pray Heavenly Father we come to you in obedience to your command you commanded us to begin praying for the sick even by way of television so we pray now for those that have been listening to us whose bodies are sick I pray now for the power of Jesus Christ to begin to heal and minister oh God and oh glory to God somebody suffering from a leg condition a problem in your leg now the Spirit of God is healing you right now thank you Lord somebody is suffering with indigestion you've been suffering for it. it's been you've been battling with this thing God is healing you receive your healing right now thank you father thank you father thank you Lord glory thank you father thank you father honey you getting anything thank you Lord those who have been suffering with depression God is lifting that depression off you right now as you lift your hands and praise him and give him the glory the peace of God will come hallelujah and arrest that mind we thank you Lord we thank you high blood pressure God is speaking peace to the heart he's breaking that yoke of stress off you right now give that care to him and he will loose you yes, hallelujah. hallelujah and heal yes, that heart hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah somebody thank the Lord thank you Lord thank you father thank you that somebody's having a problem with your spine the Holy Spirit just revealed me. you haven't you've had a problem with your spine you're gonna feel the, the heat of God's power moving right now upon you God's healing that spine oh God I thank you oh God we thank you thank you father thank you father thank you Lord somebody just had a somebody has had a head injury and it's been giving you some problems God is healing you now I want you to receive it now father thank you thank you for healing the head and the spine thank you Lord and for the hypertension the high blood pressure depression thank you for these things father thank you Lord oh God hallelujah thank you Lord God is delivering somebody from a spirit of fear hallelujah glory to God thank you Jesus and the word says God has not given you a spirit of fear but a spirit of power love and a sound mind we take authority over that oppression of fear 
right now. Yes, Lord. And God, we thank you for losing faith thank you, Lord. in that heart. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody's been suffering from a headache. It's almost like a migraine headache. God is healing you. You that are listening to me now. God is healing you of this headache. Receive it now. Father, I thank you for your healing power. God, we give you praise and we give you glory. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Well, but somebody's been having a problem walking because of this condition in your name. But God's going to heal you. You're going to be able to walk. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Someone the Lord is revealing has a, a liver condition. God said, if you touch the TV in faith right now, God is going to heal your liver. Hallelujah. When you go back to the doctor, they will not see the same condition. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. I receive. I, I hear the Lord just revealed to me somebody has a stomach condition. Condition in your stomach. The Spirit of God can heal you right now. Father, I thank you and I give you praise for the healing this stomach condition. Just receive it. Receive it now by faith. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody's watching and there's a ringing in your ear. God is healing that. Right now, you might feel a little pressure in your ear, but God, the Spirit of God is moving upon that ear. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for thank this healing. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As their faith go out to you, yes, yes, yes. you are moving on their behalf. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Somebody's just being loose from, uh, it's like your mind. Your mind, it's like there's a, there's a, a band of around your mind you can't function it's just it's, it's got you bound but 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 God is loosening your mind right now oh God I thank you right now oh hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you Lord thank you for these miracles in Jesus name come on love let's stand now let's give God some praise hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord I want you to write us, let us know, give us a call, let us know of the miracle that God has done for you. Write us, let us know. We're going to give God praise and rejoice with you. God loves you then and God cares for your life. Amen. Oh